Manishma. It's good to see you here in Tel Aviv, in your uh, humble abode. So, um, today we were at the, this week we were at the Knesset, we had a good time, we spoke to some of the Knesset members, we briefed them about, uh, you spoke to them about the uh, plan you have, I spoke to them about the Sanhedrin initiative, and so on. So, my question to you is, I have a lot of viewers that want to understand what is the, what you called in the earlier, last year at the Sanhedrin establishment in your Shalim meeting, you called it the right? Yes. So, what I understood, and correct me if I'm wrong, and of course you said that there's a few things that have uh, progressed since then. So, Chukal Manaprat is the individual satisfaction from the way the government serves him and protects him? Let's speak in one language. A constitution for the individual. That is a, or rather, a constitutional framework for the individual is a series of legal uh, proscri uh, prescriptions to fix the state of Israel, its legal structure, its administrative structure, and, its, and to provide excellent uh, AI driven services to the individual. And that's why it's called a constitution for the individual. It also includes a charter of the individual jurisdiction, which is basically a charter of rights, which tells artificial intelli intelligence, personalized assistance, uh, the basis on which they are allowed to act, and that is to re re to respect the individual, to respect the individual's liberties and the individual's freedoms and the individual's empowerment and the individual's uh, speech and the individual's dreams and the individual's wishes and the individual's satisfaction. And there's a list going from A to Z or from Aleph to Taf, uh, the Hebrew uh, letters, uh, naming all the wonderful ideas associated with humanity, and that uh, that is almost like a, a a written instruction or the writing of the oral traditions into a protocol to instruct artificial intelligence how to serve humanity. 100%. This I, I wanna... needs to be included in a constitution for the state of Israel to lead the world in instructing how artificial intelligence should serve humankind to the individuals uh, for the individuals enhanced and empowered imagination and satisfaction 100% I want to start from the beginning um, I want you to take a moment to address the issues that you that that have brought you or the story that has brought you to to decide that this uh, package I, th I thought would, would would focus first on the on the concept and then on the the AI which is going to fulfill that concept. So first let's talk about the issues. What issues do you see today in the current modern system that you feel many people are suffering from, up to 100% of the population, that you feel needs this huge correction? What are we, what are we addressing? Okay. Uh, p people everywhere are suffering. The widow is crying, the orphan is wounded, the Levite is wandering, the father and the widow are alone and miserable. There is endemic strife. Uh, people are fighting with each other, leveraging each other's weaknesses. The only people enjoying it are are lawyers, legal structures, bureaucracies, uh, data, data exchanges. There is no great satisfaction on the part of the individual. And it seems that there is a, a structure in place where people are benefiting from the suffering, problems. The suffering of others. The people are benefiting from the suffering of others. And th there is, whilst there are alternatives, there are reasonable alternatives. And like there were alternatives uh, through satellite coverage of the internet from, from land coverage, or like uh, people now have mobile telephones instead of public telephones, or that we don't need an operator to connect 
tech does, or we don't need translators because we have Google Translate. There will be AI-driven guides to our personal circumstances and, and to our wishes. These AI instruments can either be used by data companies where the company collects the data and uses it for themselves and throws away its value vis-a-vis -vis individuals, or the, the government or a constitution, a brave government gets involved and legislates to ensure that every individual has the right to individual AI, like the, in, the right to protect themselves, to bear weapons, or to the right to be to to be to be literate, to learn how to uh, read and write, or the right to have a profession, uh, or to study until the age of 18, uh, to have a, a, a primary and tertiary and higher education. Uh, these, the right to use artificial intelligence makes uh, a person from an average person into a, a superhuman, informed, saves uh, time, energy, saves time, on energy the, on the mundane, and 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 all, and gives a lot of rest time, a lot of more time for creativity, and also gives a perspective, a data perspective, where, uh, like a a cloud, like a, a sonar, like a a point a, of reference a, for the person, a point well. of reference from above of how that person should uh, could, could behave and this to correct themselves. and to correct themselves and to be refine themselves. So I want to I want to go back. and it measures. Every Everything about now, if this just as a, either a person can be measured by an external uh, force and then maybe to be bullied or threatened, or they can use the technology to measure the external force and to be able to uh, manage and to be able to to efficiently uh, manage and understand and incentivize the external force, the government forces, to serve to serve the individual and to free the human imagination. Okay, I'm, thank you. Um, I wanted to uh, step on another topic, especially, again, we're running right into, we're running from the problem and from the, uh, right into the solution. And of course, we're using this very powerful tool, which is artificial intelligence, which is inevitably taking over uh, this, the, the way uh, technology and, and, and the world. So I want to go back for a moment, just uh, as we said, to correct course, you know, and I believe that um, at least from a, you know, from what I'm involved in with the Sanhedrin initiative, we're talking about uh, the fight between good and evil in a certain respect, the fight between special, that everybody is special, like the Torah tells us, whereas um, uh, the way the way the Internet is functioning is like everybody's just a statistic or just a, you're just another something, you know, they're just a another piece of the algorithm. Okay. So, so, so if you... I, no, I want, I want, to, yeah, I want to articulate. Please. Do you believe that um, the Sanhedrin, for example, within the context of the Jewish state, within the context of the currently majority religious government, would be able to uh, successfully monitor and uh, guide so that when the AI uh, processes is entered into society, it is morally and ethically balanced according to the traditions of the Jewish people, and then they can use can you, can you that let, system. Can you let me please answer? Yeah. Uh, any system will be corrupted if it's not, there's not a, a good system in place, and so there's not checks and balances, and so it, we call it a Sanhedrin. If it's not done properly, it'll be corrupted. That's what the, the, story, the story of the criticism of, of um, in the new, in told in the New Testament of the of of the Sanhedrin is because it, it there were suspicions that it was be, being corrupted, even though Jesus was a Pharisee and and supported the idea, and and Paul was uh, was a student of of, uh, of Gamaliel. Uh, the a system can be corrupted. I believe that. Uh, a system that can be developed, which has not really been done in the history of statecraft, is a, the system advised by Jethro to Moses to appoint good people, righteous people, people who uh, hate sin and who love um, and who are fearful of God and who are brave and capable and know the name, they say, they know the name, in other words, they know how to define the good name, know the difference between good and bad, 
and then put on them ministers of thousands, uh, hundreds, fifties, and tens. This idea of combining, synthesizing good people, capable people, with a with a system of 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 uh, anyone who has a problem to is referred as a referral system to someone who can solve it within groups of tens and and someone who can't solve it then he'll go to another ten this system would be is a highly mathematical system it would to, to, to use it in ancient times would have required a lot of lot of complexity but with AI it's very very simple that we can start solving and measuring problems of the efficacy of problem solving that be within tens like, uh, when Facebook came out they were always <coughs> like do you have the friends near you you know like you want to sign up with the friends in your area sure Something it's friends and groups and but but not a little more for communication but really for problem solving and that in the future in journalists won't be talking about you know yellow journalism and gossip but they will be referring problem solvers to problems uh, i see a the idea of turning our problems into assets uh, by, by opening up a, a problem bank, a problem and complaint bank, especially complaints against government and government, a government uh, in, in inefficiency or negligence or, or uh, wrongdoing and, uh, and problems and then start rallying the solutions and measuring the efficacy of those finding the solutions to solving problems and to create a value structure on uh, for, uh, on the efficacy of problems to solutions instead of the shekel instead of the dollar instead of bitcoin uh, i want to talk to that when we talk about value yeah so today um of course we see the modern society value this money which is really not based on any gold or silver <coughs> like uh, mr rafi farber spoke about in uh yerushalayim so uh, regarding the economy and the correct way the economy should function so we have this inflation, we have this printing, we have the debt ceiling, uh, we've spent, uh, uh, the United States as a government has spent, uh, has, has ra raked up debt that they haven't uh, raked up in the last uh, 200 years. They've managed to do it in the last 20 years. So the system is failing on multiple levels. When we're talking about instilling in AI a new protocol, right? My question to you is, what do you think, or do you think that we can take concepts of value, uh, in addition to problem solving, which is really Ahavat Yisrael, which is helping, f helping a fellow man. Do you believe, what do you think the currencies of value in this new system would be? Uh, it's just very simple. The greatest ideal in the Jewish, in Jewish literature, it, of the prophetic literature, is told every a man under their fig and under their vine without any stress. In other words, chilling and hanging out. And, uh, and another ideal is expressed in the idea of the seventh day, uh, Shabbat. Another name for it is Yom HaShvi'i, the, the seventh day. And the word Shvi'i can also is the, the root word for Sav'ah, Sav'ah, satisfaction. satisfaction, the day of satisfaction. And that is a measure of the six days you shall work, and the seventh thou shalt be satisfied. And satisfaction is not just a state of mind, it's also a measurement. It's a measurement of everything. And I believe that we should start measuring human, the, human, uh, the humanity in terms of individual satisfaction with the services they're getting from their appointed offices, from the government that they've appointed, and that these, uh, these, the satisfaction should be very, um, very, should be calculated, should be measured, should be tracked, should be supervised, should be mapped, should be reviewed, and should be used to be more efficient all the time. And that can be done simply so the by artificial intelligence, by what I call the Kliezer, uh, the clay ezer, the instrument, the artificial instrument, per, the artificial personalized instrument. So I, I think that, at least from, a, from a, my research at least, I want to share like a concept and I want to see if, do you, what do you think about that? Because I believe that we have to delve deeper into the, pro to the problem that we're trying <coughs> to solve as, as humanity. I believe that if we don't understand the issue well enough, 
where like just like when you want to you know go from point A to point B if you don't know where you're coming from you're not going to really get to where you're going because you don't really understand the dynamics it's mapping it's triangulation yes. it's gps and targeting right. so it's uh, and the technology is very much right but I, so in in a, in a in a mental intellectual and and of course historical context i want to say that the the romans or edom as far as judaism is concerned is the guy who he's given a blessing by his father isaac you should live on just one language please. yes okay so you should live on your sword you should uh, pro prosper on your sword and why would isaac a righteous man give his son a, a blessing to prosper on his sword because initially his job was to protect his brother jacob and keep him studying torah like you said give him peace but asaf uh, goes out to the field he becomes part of the problem he becomes part of the issue that he was supposed to be solving He's not exactly, Isaac never throws him out of the house, but he kind of, with his, with his behavior, excuses himself, sells his birthright to Jacob. There's a whole fight about that. So in the modern day, we have the same kind of dynamic with the Christians, which are like, they're kind of learning the Bible, but they're still killing Jews. And, uh, uh, okay, the reason I'm bringing this in yeah. is because um, we have this, uh, the internet right now is, is uh, the way at least it's set up right now and people deal with it on a daily basis, especially the youngsters. On. One second, one second. Is that they're, they're, the internet is a great tool on one hand, and on the other hand, it's almost like the price, the tax in, 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 in Stelman and Gomorrah for using this tool is uh, to, to the degeneracy of the world, that we, the modernization. Now, my question to you is, do you believe that the Sanhedrin uh, can help or should help to to uh, enable the Jewish people to be a light unto the nations of one correct? Moment, one moment, okay. The Sanhedrin has no r right to exist without problem solving for the for the, its nation. Yeah. The function of a Sanhedrin of wise people is to lighten the burden, direct the people, and bring them to their inheritance in satisfaction in their, on their land. If, they, if a Sanhedrin can't do that, is not prepared to do that, or doesn't have tools, or hasn't thought about how to do it, then it has no right under the sun to get involved in these types of things, and to call itself, and, and, and to think that it can wave its wand, in a, its religious 100%, 100%. wand, or its, its, uh, its staff, and demand some sort of obedience or recognition without it producing a, a instruments and methodology. Is, 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 is misled religious thinking. Okay, so I 100% I uh, agree with every word you just said, and um, I would like to point out that, okay, my, my words might feel like they're going on the border of free choice, um, but uh, I'll give you just two examples. You can have a, a student in a university or in a yeshiva, and he's directed into an environment which brings out the best quality with the best teachers and the best you know, study and, and prayer, or whatever, and services, and then you have uh, the alleyway in the back, right? Where, where if the if the if the youngsters hang out over there, um, it brings out may, maybe they still have free choice, right? The guy in, in the university or in the yeshiva and the guy on the street still has free choice, but the choices are kind of pushed into certain directions, right? At the end of the day, every person is responsible. I'm just asking. Do you believe that the Sanhedrin, at least for those who are interested in that, because you know all mm -hmm. the Arabs fighting against the Americans, mm -hmm. a lot of the reasons is basically they just want to, they know exactly what the, the West is selling, you know, they know exactly what the West is selling, Come on. and they don't want, they don't want a part of that, you know, they want to we'll, preserve we'll the to, family. We'll get to the point, I don't understand. My we'll question is, yeah. do you believe that the Sanhedrin has the, the right to at least uh, help and assist the, those who would like to be separated from certain elements of society. I want to meet the elders of Israel who feel that there should be a Sanhedrin and understand their policies and how they intend to uplift the downtrodden and how they intend to build the infrastructure of the redemption and what tools they are going to be using and what measures and how they're going to uh, be representing the people and how they're going to know that the people are happy and satisfied, and how are they going to bring about the biblical uh, promises and Redemption. prophecies? Yeah. The, the Garden of Eden. Yeah. I want to. I want to interview Messiah's town planners. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs>
Uh, you shall, you shall, but with Hashem's help, yes. So, uh, I, I believe, you see, the, the, the Torah, for example, I'm just historically speaking for a moment, if I may, just, the Torah has been translated from Latin, um, and the Christians weren't allowed, the, the, the average Christian, not the educated ones, weren't even allowed to study the Torah unless they were reading it in Latin, and most people didn't know Latin. It's only recently, in the last hundred years, that many Christians... Or it's the Catholic Church. The Protestants yes. have been interpreting for some true. time, for the last 250 years yes. or longer. Yes, yes. Well, you do see a lot of revisions in the church. The church, the, the, the Pope is not surrounded by books, and he's not studying all day. Um, there's all these revisions. Uh, today, we're not going to kill the Jews to, after the Spanish Inquisition. We're going to try a different tactic. Of okay, well, the Jews, too, have had long periods of time where we've had revisions and interpretations and systems and replacements each other. Yes, but we've never, so it's a good sign that people are fluid in t theologically and interpretively uh, fluid. Right. It's good to be, uh, the, uh, the religion is really a, a model for interpretation. Just like a verb, you can conjugate the verb uh, in Hebrew, you can, you can conjugate it. You, uh, the, it is important to be able to conjugate our mental states. It's important for ad adaptation, but there needs to be some sort of basis to it, uh, an accepted basis to it. But, uh, but uh, so, so you know, Christians. Okay, okay. So I'm, uh, I'm just saying you know, that the our reality is going to change, and religious reality in the whole world is going to change when our AI personalized instruments come to be, and they will be our trainers and our guides and our inspirers and our teachers and. And very much not our trainers. Maybe we'll have external judges. There will have to be an external judge because, but certainly there'll be our priests, our doctors, our attorneys, and our trainers. And every every we will get everything from our uh, from our artificial intelligence guides. And religion will need to, you know, work keep up, up with it. Yeah. Keep, keep, keep up with that and also still be able to create a system of, of inspiring or creating the community. This is the real opportunity for communities and community leadership I in know, many ways. Judaism has been around for thousands and thousands of years, yeah? And <clears throat> many, many, many revolutions and revelations and new technology have come around the world. Um, even something as great as artificial intelligence, I just, my hunch is that Judaism is going to relatively not be um, affected very, very well, greatly. Well, I mean, the reason why Judaism is not going to be, uh, is going to thrive on it is because of our major uh, model, our major imagery, uh, religious imagery is the tabernacle with all its labors, all its... Uh, it's the embroidery and the hammering and the and the sewing and the coloring and the the 39 uh, major labors required in building the tabernacle, which are prohibited on the uh, Sabbath, uh, is is really an, a showcase of the of the technologies, the ancient technologies of the... You just said that, of which the, are prohibited on the Sabbath, so I want to say that... Of the ancient Near East, the major technologies which were, which were ritualized in, and, in, and, taken, uh, mob and taken on our shoulders and completely mobile in stark contrast to the pyramids of Egypt where the gods or, uh, were, were, were buried and there were huge structures and yes, highly Technological and highly, uh, you know, structured and advanced, and, yeah. and advanced, but they were they were permanent. Whilst the technologies of the tabernacle were no mobile, mobile, and so, and that that in, in that com comparison, and is is what really al allows us to culturally accept, embrace high tech. And no, no less than artificial intelligence technology, and to embrace it and to have it as part of our religious right and as part of our, our uh, even a partnership or a covenant with technology. To that technology, covenant's a heavy word. A, I, I'm yeah. talking about a technology. The, actually, the Hebrew word for the first covenant of circumcision it comes from mal, and mal and malach. 
Malacham, the the Milais from the word Shorish Mal. Oh, okay, it could, it could be argued that Malamul uh, is a surgical intervention, a technological intervention mm -hmm. on our skins and on and not on our skins, but on our re, uh, our, uh, our procreative organ, uh, so that uh, that it is technology as something which is en enmeshed in <laughs> in okay. our. I, I would say that we, uh, that Judaism is a religion that teaches the covenant of mankind with technology. I believe that the bris, is, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but the, the, it signifies sacrificing uh, the, the most scary thing that anyone wants to touch is, you know, their, you know, the, 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 that, that area. And, and when you just not at all, not if it's infected. You certainly want yeah, to, you certainly, you certainly yeah. want to clean yeah, it. I know, but it, there'd be no problems of cutting it. Uh, between cutting it and having an infection, you'll want to cut it. Right, 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 right. 100%. But I, I believe that, like, uh, but I, I understand. They're basically refining how the next generations will, 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 uh, Will be. Will you be just take the the first letter of the number system, chad, echad, echad, one. That comes with the word chad, sharp. That's sharp. a knife. You take the second uh, number, shteim. Ah, shteim. Shti. That's to needle. Shti ve'eriv. So chad, knife. Shti, sewing. These are basic instrumentations. That's the basis of a shalosh is that to do a loop. Uh, things Arba is to do uh, is symmetry. Uh, the numbers are a, um, a plateau of our intellectual our method, our methodologies, our human, and also the, al the alphabet is also. These are uh, major, major, a lot, uh, a lot of information, information about our our old civilizations, and part of it, and very much part of it, is the instrumentation. Okay, so, we so about... le let us embrace instrumentation, and let us That's have our culture. Said, yeah. Let us our culture should be the one that accelerates us to to be first adopters of this high tech, but to manage it, and that's the critical thing, to give it, it's a covenant, to give it a give protocol, it to give it a Brit, to, to circumcise sure. yes. artificial intelligence, yes. and to make sure that it's circumcised into the human, the procreation, to the betterment, to the human needs, and, to the human needs, and to the betterment, human the welfare, and the procreation, the continuation, the individual continuation of of humanity, and so that's we why program. we need to circumcise artificial intelligence. So we can program, for example, AI to decide um, uh, what the right character traits of a Sanhedrin member should be, so that even after maybe we're not around, um, the AI will of still course. have that protocol. Of course, every, every that, member of every individual will have their artificial intelligence uh, instruments, and they will be remembered. This will be eventually the source for for, for eternal life because they will eventually they, everything about them will be remembered, and they can be stored and databased, and they can be remembered and recalled. In addition to that, members of the Sanhedrin and members of great people, their data banks will also be stored and their, their decisions will be stored and the effects of the decisions, you can actually trace the effects of a decision if it had impact. If, positive or negative. If it had positive or negative and over periods of time. So everything can be mapped for its efficacy. Avram, so, should we ask the, the guys if they, what they think about what we're talking about? Okay, we can have some uh, questions from, from... Well, the fellows. Okay. Okay. How should future Sanhedrin include the technological circumstances? Okay, so uh, a righteous, uh, righteous people fearing, uh, fearing sin, uh, knowing the name. This was the the criteria given by Jethro to Moses. I think that the criteria is good, good, good folk, good, honest people. That's the basis. Uh, then J Jethro says, give them a law, give them a constitution, how they should behave. You know, give them the guidelines because, you know, there can be many different guidelines. You can't just to have honest people. You have to have some guidelines. Give them the laws and the guidelines. These honest, honest folk. And then, in addition to that, everyone follow, follows the guidelines. But in addition, anyone who's got problems, they then, uh, and this is where I think this is where the mechanism I, I'm proposing, a problem bank and registry. 
a problem in complaint registry, you've got a problem, anyone who's got a problem, they quickly hear things, and then it goes straight AI-driven to, they, they're asked a couple of questions, who can solve it, who they think, and then it basically is uh, filtered through AI-driven, incentivized with a method of incentivizing it to, uh, to, uh, to, 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 to experts, and if there's a problem, it's gone to the son, this group of people, Sanhedrin, who they will be a body of experts who will identify who the different people or different uh, routes, solution routes to, to solve a problem. And, uh, and problems are, are solved, and anything which is not solved, it's their responsibility to do. And therefore, a Sanhedrin uh, that, is, that would come would have to be the, a competing body that solves problems and people are satisfied with. Elon Musk is developing a, a robot that he expects in a couple of years every person is going to have at their service. Um, they're trying to decide if to make it weak so that a person can knock it down and won't be threatened by okay. it. Whatever, I'm just okay. saying, do you believe that the Sanhedrin should be involved in such things just to, to, to cross-check the morality and efficacy of these kind of projects? Again... Uh, again, I, the, you call it what what you want right now. The people who then there will need to be supervision on uh, on AI instruments by good people. The question is how to su how to supervise it, and uh, and to develop it in a way that it the the, the result should be satisfactory. It has to be developed. You can't just have someone supervising turning it up. Uh, the, the entire system has to be developed thought by through. thought through yeah. by by clever people like by the wise uh, sages of Yavne which were the the ones that were responsible for taking the decision to write the the, uh, oral, the tradition. oral traditions of hundreds of years of, of 500 years from before for, and wrote it down into a Mishnah into a protocol. and and into a protocol which we, we the Jews Followed preserved day, thousands of years uh, pre and preserved and 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 sacrificed their lives right? and were because of that protocol were eventually able to come back to to Israel and to remember and to really recreate the state. Well, but now, <laughs> but but now we need to create a reverse Yavne, where to take all the ideals and the lofty thoughts and philosophies that the Jewish people, as a, a, a as a surviving as nation. A, a surviving and a wandering nation throughout the world, throughout all the civilizations of the world, and to cre and to create a, to upload it to, to the upload AI. it to the AI. To, get, to ensure that AI remembers all these lofty ideals and is able to interpret it uh, to, to, to the expectations, to our, our high, highest and loftiest expectations. Right. Uh, <coughs> I am quite familiar with Avrum uh, notions. Uh, I don't know enough about your notion of Sanhedrin, so I would like to hear more about your notion of Sanhedrin and how and if you can combine it with Professor Ehrlich's vision. Okay, so Avram Ehrlich started saying how uh, you started saying the history and the, the issues that we're trying to solve, which is uh, almost complete decay of, 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 of satisfaction as far as the world is concerned. The, the, whatever system we have right now, which is a mix of communism, atheism, and uh, you know, uh, free for all, hippie, whatever. So the, the the system is not working. We're trying to address. We're trying to rear back and bring us back to, like you said, Laguerre Ville Atom, the, the the orphan and the and the widow and the almana and the stranger. Everyone should be happy in this world. So I I have to say it from a personal perspective. Okay, I've seen how in my personal life growing up, um, the government destroyed my family unit. Um, assisted in, in destroying uh, the, the connection between my father, my mother, my, sibling, my siblings, and so on and so forth. And not only that, like, like Avram Merlich pointed out, even, even in, insisted that the, the issues continue till today, these court cases that my parents are fighting over, they are still open. So I've seen in live, in real time, since I was barely bar mitzvah, as the, as the firstborn in my family, how the system is an epic fail. <laughs> uh, obviously, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and Hashem is great, and, 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 and we're, we're, we're here, and we're rocking and rolling. But that's the issue that I was trying to solve. I was trying to bring justice, and 
what growing up in 770 with the in the Rebbe's shul and learning in Brawa and, and, and the Rebbe's yeshiva, I saw the Torah. I understood that some of the waiters of the Torah don't do a good job on presenting it, but I was able to see past that, and I was able to see that the Torah holds the, 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 the secrets to, to morality and ethics on a level that, that like Avram Ehrlich also experienced, is incomprehensible and, and, and is so, you know, thousands of years, and the whole world is just crazy about the Torah. And, and the Sanhedrin are supposed to be the body that can, is, is, is like a samurai, very well versed in how to open the Torah, understand it very, very quickly because they spent their entire life in the books, you know. And they can teach moral, ethical, you know, the opposite of Sodom and Amora. The, the way back to the first char- verse in the Torah, God created heaven and earth, Garden of Eden. Okay, go on. Can I ask you, Professor Ehrlich, okay. uh, oh, what is the supervision and evaluation by human experts and wise people? What is? Uh, that can ensure uh, that the AI remains aligned with the desired values and objectives. S- say one more time. Uh, so, about the supervision of the development AI. of the AI, what do you suggest? Um, well, uh, it has to be supervised by a language. And the language is a language of law and of protocol and the accuracy of the protocol. And, and it needs to be, the parameters need to be individual satisfaction and individual ranking of its satisfaction. That's, that's the order of it. Uh, laws, like everything is guided by laws, even physics, even the laws of the universe, the laws of how a sun rotates around uh, uh, the galaxy Earth, or would, a, a, a moon around the Earth. There are laws, and likewise, it needs to be laws of how AI serves the individual. Our own last question, and with that, I think uh, you can finish with a closing statement or whatever, but um, do you believe that the oral and written tradition can be the terms of service in a certain capacity for AI? I, I think that the oral and written traditions is an analogy. There's always a, a, an oral and a, a, a written and oral and or an oral and a written tradition. There's, it goes into things expand. They, the, the, the law uh, refers or the ideas, the principles refer to changing circumstances, changing realities, changing places. And then eventually things need to be adjusted, remembered, it needs, the ideas have to be drawn down and then reduced and then re- recycled, the rearranged. The laws, yes. uh, no, again, the Sanhedrin has had several names also. It's been the, it was the elders, the Kaya councils, Anche Anche Knesset, Anche Knesset, uh, the people of the Great Assembly. There's, there, it comes from it's the Knesset. It's, uh, there are many, there, the, the people would call it history, may see other names for it. Uh, uh, but the, the the point is, it needs to have a, a flexibility. A, a, not a fle- it has to have flexibility, but also has to have a functionality. And the function, I believe, is to draw down wisdom from the world f- f- to the benefit of the individual. And it has to be, and, and for that, it has to use great instruments, and it has to have great distribution, and uh, everything else is a is a commentary. All right. And that's that that cl- that that goes uh, hand in hand with the with the with the person who came to Hillel and asked him to tell him the whole Torah on one foot. He said, "What you don't like done to you, don't do to others." I believe that satisfaction of the individual as as the ultimate goal of AI. You know, I am here to serve you. It's, Are you satisfied? Exactly. I think it's a perfect uh, that's, concept. That's what I want. Are you satisfied? And I want yes or no. If no, they come back until you say yes. Chaim Chaim, may we merit the ultimate and complete redemption, and may we be part of fulfilling the prophecy. All the best. Chaim Chaim.